Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Restricted Republic. My name is Justice, and I can't thank you enough for being here today. And a special thanks. Moving into our Thanksgiving holiday like you are, I just wanted to take a moment to thank you again for being here, for all the support, for all of those that have joined us over at Restricted Republic. I can't thank you enough. That is your way of supporting all our efforts here. I think before we move into what Biden got caught on tape saying exactly, no one would ever believe it, but yet it's real. It's important to keep everything in perspective. What they try to do, those people, some call it a deep state, some call it a government, some call it globalists, is to keep you in a state of confusion and depression. They want you to feel defeated, like you're losing at every minute of every turn of every day, but you're not. That's just what they've worked hard to create. An illusion, a deception, an effective one nonetheless, but never, ever give up hope. Because as we move forward, we the people can always take back power. It takes a concerted effort, one beyond the scope and imagination of most, but nonetheless one that can always be achieved. Remember, they want you to feel defeated. Which transitions into this section of this is allegedly one of our opponents. So obviously there's not much to be concerned about. Now, before we get into the tape, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I certainly hope you will. And if you do me a huge favor, if you haven't gone to Restricted Republic, I, I certainly appreciate it if you could. That's your means of supporting us. Lisa Haven and I created that network to tell you all the things we can't tell you anymore. Right now, to enjoy it and to enjoy all the videos you see flashing across your screen, go ahead and use at monthly checkout discount code Let's Go Brandon. That will get you six dollars a month well, for two years, plus fourteen days for free to check out the platform. It's our way of saying thank you for all you've done and giving you something in return, rather than just asking for donations. The news that you can't report on anywhere else. Once again, that is RestrictedRepublic.com. And by the way, if you're already subscribed, you can also buy gift cards there for others to make sure they wake up to, again, our what is alleged to be our opponent. Folks, I truly can't make up what was caught on tape. I will do what needs to be done to reduce the price you pay at the pump. From the middle class and working families that are spending much too much and it's a strain, and you're the reason I was sent here to look out for you. And you're the reason I was sent here to look out for you. Oh, no, that's not all. That's just a warm-up act. You're the reason I was sent here to look out for you. I'm on a mission from what exactly, Joe? You're here to look out for us. Oh, please stop. Please, I desperately implore you to stop because we're not doing any better. We're doing a lot worse. You're putting us in more debt. You're stripping away our freedoms. You're empowering us the wrong people, and you're completely attempting at every turn to demolish the great Republic of America. So do me a favor, stop. You weren't sent here for any reason to protect me, and I don't want you to look out for me. But if you could do me a huge favor, a little comic relief would be wonderful because I still can't believe you went full Ron Burgundy in this speech, but you did. And my audience, I, I hope they appreciate hearing this. Because of the actions we've taken, things have begun to change. End of quote. In the past three weeks, end of quote. In the past three weeks. Oh, you heard that right. End of quote. So happy. <laughs> the true Ron Burgundy moment. Followed only by. And finally, even as we meet, even as we meet to work uh, out this challenge, even as we meet, even as we meet to work uh, out this challenge, this challenge, it's important to maintain perspective about where our economy stands today. Even if we meet, even if we meet, it's important to remember huh, the perspective about where our economy stands today. Oh, we, we know where it stands today. But Joe, there, there is cause for concern. Because this is where the train comes off the rails, <laughs> off the tracks, whatever you want to say. And here's what he provided us. Now, listen closely. I want to make sure you have this to take into your Thanksgiving Day. I also want to briefly address one myth about inflated gas prices. 
They're not due to environmental measures. My effort to combat climate change is not raising the price of gas or increasing its availability. It, what it's doing, it's increasing the availability of jobs. Jobs building electric cars like the one I drove at the GM Detroit, the GM factory in Detroit last week. For the hundreds of thousands of folks who brought one of those electric cars, they're going to save $800 to $1,000 in fuel costs this year. And we're going to put those savings within reach of more Americans and create jobs installing solar panels, batteries, electric heat pumps, jobs making those clean power generating devices. Hmm. My effort to combat climate change is not raising the prices of gas. Not raise the price of gas. I hate to misquote them. <laughs> what it's doing, it's increasing the availability of jobs. Except that cobalt, a nasty, nasty cobalt, controlled by the Chinese that your son helped turn over control to, well, those jobs won't be here. And components within those electric vehicles that won't biodegrade, well, ever. I guess that's better, however, in your world to combat those nasty things we can't talk against anymore, which should tell you where the entire story is going. And you had nothing to do with the fuel increases, which we've proven in the last two videos you have. If you haven't seen them, just click above. And then immediately thereafter, you visit an electric vehicle plant, and now you're promoting electric vehicles. Now, one has nothing to do with the other, Joe. We're much too slow to keep up with you on the way you're heading this great republic towards your electric vehicles, which, by the way, electric vehicles would be far easier controlled now, wouldn't they? Hmm. I guess for those of us conspiracy theorists that are always concerned the government overreach may be, well, all-encompassing. And yet you can always find new ways to add more. So now for your Ron Burgundy moment to assure that we can keep, as I always tell my audience, everything in perspective. This is the man promoting and allegedly leading <laughs> the entire charge. And to quote, in the past three weeks... Oh. This man's going to be responsible for pardoning turkeys. I'm, I'm concerned he's even going to get that right at this point because there, there seems to be nothing that he's showing a capacity or propensity to handle. This is the figurehead that the global world sees. So proud to be an American, which I always will be, but right now that pride is slightly tarnished. The best way I can put it. But my faith in our system, if reinforced properly, is going to remain steadfast. Because what they want you to do is give up. They want you to throw up your hands and say, forget it. It's never going to be fixed. It's done. It's over. I give up. They're going to continue to control things anyway. And that's simply not the way things are to ever work. It's that giving up that they've been working towards so diligently. To assure happens, confusion within government, who controls what, overabundance of government nonetheless, and well, we can't change what they're doing, and we absolutely can. So while you're sitting around your Thanksgiving table with your family or your friends, don't allow that defeatist attitude to permeate the room. It's exactly what they desire, and something we should never give them. I wanted to make sure, moving into your holiday, that you had that message. Because you are our greatest megaphone. You are the ones who truly spread the word to as many as possible. We may start the ball rolling down the hill, but you make sure it continues and picks up speed and momentum so that people understand it's never time to give up. We must always be thankful for what we have, and for that we must always protect what we have. And I love you all for being here. I can't thank you enough. You know I'll never go on a couple days off without doing something Again, to say thank you to you, the people who truly allow us to be here. I love you all. I hope you have an amazing Thanksgiving. More importantly, Godspeed and God bless. Until next time, Justice Knight, signing out. <laughs>